when chaplains ask you to speak, I don't know why anybody would turn it down. You know, they got connections that you just want to make sure you keep in good faith with. And I think I was the third choice, but I, I said, sure, I'll come down and talk. I don't know what's going to happen over those next couple of people, those first couple of people over the next year or so, but maybe they'll have another opportunity next year. But uh, to get to talk to chap uh, about chaplains and the, and the 237th birthday, which is actually on Sunday, uh, but we're not going to have you all back in here on Sunday, so we figured that we would go ahead and do this today. And I want to thank the band. They probably have somewhere else they have to be on Sunday. Again, like the chaplains, they're kind of on duty uh, seven days a week, depending on what the requirements or needs are. And, and I appreciate you all being here, too. Uh, always a great time. Uh, you know, at, at AMCOM, we like to say that we are the life cycle management command for aviation and missiles. But, you know, chaplains are kind of a life cycle management command too for for people you know they uh they bring you in they depending on what religion you are they christian you baptize you bar mitzvah you whatever that is in the 140-ish different religions that we have members of the department of defense that, that uh, uh, belong to or have whatever faith in uh then they marry you which can be Really good for some and not so good for others. <laughs> and then the one that most of us dread the most is they also bury you. So they do have that life cycle from early, midlife, and then they, they put you away at the end of your time and, uh, and, and let you uh, move on to the next life. So uh, they truly are a life cycle command. And it's usually not the same chaplain that does all that stuff to you, but, but you, you develop over the years and they develop over the years too. You know, along that line, though, the, the chaplain corps at 237th uh, year, there's, there's really only been about 25,000 chaplains over the, the life of the Army. And, uh, and that's to support about a 25 million people uh, service or congregation, if you want to call it that, of military members and family members. And chaplains are there 24-7 for all of those people. And, uh, you know, over the time, just a, a couple of other statistical things before I, I just make a, a few other kind of remarks, but yeah, they, uh, there's been about 300 chaplains that uh, have given their, their life uh, as a part of DOD. And there's six Medal of Honor winners in the chaplain corps, which is uh, relatively impressive, too, with what, what they do. So, uh, again, service over a long period of time. Um, you know, I have friends that are chaplains that are airborne, ranger, jump masters. You know, one of the good things, if you're going to do the unnatural act of jumping out of an airplane, there's nothing like having your jump master being a chaplain to tap you on the back as you go out of that aircraft to wish you well. Uh, that, that, that's always a good feeling that, to have that chaplain do that for you. And, and I have several friends that, uh, that have done that for me in the past. Um, but, you know, chaplains are... As I said, they're, they're available 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. The job is probably one of the most challenging jobs in the military. They can go to any type of unit and serve. They have to serve all of those different religious beliefs that, that I talked about earlier, the 140-some. They have to be prepared to do uh, non-denominational care for all of us. Uh, wearing the uniform of our families, and they do that routinely in any type of unit. Chaplain could, could come here and he could be in an infantry unit next, he could be in, a, in an artillery unit the next week after that and doing something else after that. And so very, very diverse in what's expected of them and what the clientele, I call it a clientele, you can call it whatever you want, I'm not sure what you call it, Chaplain, but uh, the people that they support and nourish uh, are, are come from all walks, and so uh, really is a, a tribute to them and what they've done for all of us. And so it's, it's a, an honor to celebrate their 237th birthday.